Roger, Dan. And uh, what was the uh, call again? I got uh, November 3, uh, uh, JF, and what's the last? Yes, it's uh, November 3, Juliet Foxtrot Sierra. Roger, uh, Roger, Dan. And you're in uh, uh, Central where? Central Delaware. Uh, Central Delaware. Roger, Roger. Well, you're, you're doing great. Uh, how much wattage are you running there? Um, uh, averaging around 300 watts right now. Oh, Roger, you're coasting there. <laughs> you're giving me a 10 over, so uh, very good. And your audio, uh, although, you know, it's my thing, I, I just uh, think that uh, I'm trying to get uh, HF communications to uh, the same uh, uh, frequency response uh, that uh, they enjoy on VHF and UHF. There, there is... Well, obviously, you have some limitations in frequency response capabilities on HF that you you don't have those same uh, discrepancies on uh, VHF and UHF. But I think we can do a lot better as far as uh, getting a, a brighter a brighter audio uh, in our situation. You know? Oh yeah, I agree with you one hundred percent. That uh, that was my next question. Is my uh, audio sound uh, quite clear enough for? Uh, uh, this old rig there may need adjusting as well. Roger. I, I I would go for a three on the top end. Uh, do you have a three band or a two band EQ? Uh, two band EQ. Roger. Two band is fine because you always want to keep that uh, middle uh, EQ flat. I always want to keep the middle EQ flat because that's the that's the workhorse there, and you've got to have that to make a anything work. So uh, you know, with just having a two-band EQ, there's no limitation there because you would uh, put that mid-range EQ flat anyway. So I would go uh, maybe a plus two, plus three on the uh, top end, and uh, see where see where that goes, Roger. Okay, I can get in there and do some adjusting on it. I uh, literally have to get in the menu, and uh, it's been so long since I've fooled with this rig that uh, I'm a little bit out of practice with it. But I, I tell you what, I appreciate you coming back and letting me know, uh, you know, if the station's uh, passable, uh, you know, making good contacts with it. Roger. Now, uh, I think you might be uh, just a tad hot on your compressor, too. I could hear it suck up uh, at the end. Now, I would not run that compressor too much past uh, a half of its capabilities. I, I prefer to run it like a third of its capabilities. That way, it's uh, very transparent. The problem is, that with these compressors, they're so slow, uh, you know, that you can hear them, you know, suck up, and they really don't help that much uh, as far as uh, getting that uh, dynamic range down. So I would run, you know, right at a, a third of the capability of the compressor, uh, and then um, go to ALC and use my mic level to adjust my ALC to where I'm uh, mid-scale to two-thirds with the uh, compressor on at a third of its possibilities. Okay, that uh, sounds right. Oh, I three actually three uh, the processor up to uh, a little less than a third. I just dropped it back to about 20%. So hopefully that can put that edge off there. Uh, I just saw a big excursion, so you want to be you want to be where you don't have large excursions. Uh, I would come up just a, a little bit more. Okay, uh, yeah, it's uh, right between the thirty percent mark and twenty. So. Uh yeah, I think that's got it there. And uh, so then I would uh, I would do the top end EQ and uh, then check the uh, uh, ALC for mid-scale to two-thirds operation. Wonderful. I appreciate the help, actually. Uh, you can actually uh, put a set of headphones on and monitor most of your feed uh, on this radio, but uh, I don't even own a set of decent headphones. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it's just been a while since I've had this radio up and running. So I really appreciate you guys uh, helping me out there. And you guys have a good afternoon and a good new year. Thank you very much. This is N3 JFF, State of Delaware. Roger, Dan, three's other way, sir. You have a good afternoon, and uh, like I said, we will be posting this in the next uh, couple of days up on YouTube. So if you go to YouTube and do a call letter search for Kilo Charlie 9 Victor Kilo Victor, that will take you to our QSO Vlog page, 
and uh, on that page uh, you'll be looking for uh, a session that's called My Group Air Check 122818. My Group Air Check 122818. Roger. Fair enough, sir. Thank you very much. Roger. Three's out of way, sir. You have a real good uh, afternoon and evening, and we'll uh, catch you next Friday if you get a chance to uh, join us. Uh, we're usually here between uh, 3.30 and 5 Eastern. Uh, this is KC9 VKV.